Chris Crutcher was born on July 17, 1946 in Cascade, Idaho, which is a small logging town in the mountains of West Central Idaho. There, his parents owned a service station where Chris spent a lot of time working at. Chris is the middle of three children. Although his parents were both readers, Crutcher only read To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee in high school. Crutcher earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in Sociology and Psychology from Eastern Washington State College, where he also spent much of his time swimming. He is a distance runner and swimmer, and athletics appear throughout his works. Crutcher taught in an alternative K-12 school in California, where he eventually returned to Spokane, Washington, and worked as a child and family therapist. He is now a full-time writer who works with the child protection team in Spokane. Crutcher was also never married, and he lives alone. Some of the themes that come up in his writing give young adults a voice in realistic fiction, and they relate to having to go through hard times. Some social themes that he has in his books are bigotry, identity, sexuality, relationships, and loss. And almost all of these themes are positioned with a sports story that helps shape character. Some issues that come up in his writing are because of his books have been banned in Banned Books Weeks, and these include Athletic Shorts, Whale Talk, and Stoughton. Some of the reasons for being banned were sex and language, profanity, and homosexuality. Many people are challenged by the use of power stories in public education, and instead of trusting the well-trained experts hired by their school boards, librarians and teachers challenge the use of fictional stories. Crutcher's importance in the canon of youth adult literature was a lot. He contributed greatly to the generation of young adults reading, and one of his most famous books that was influential of young boys was Stoughton. This is a story about the last swimming season for Walker, Nordy, Lion, and Jeff, and their coaches building their self-discipline in a grueling four-hour day test of stamina designed to bring them to the outer edge of their capabilities. A stone is a cross between a stoic and a spartan, and this book appeals to young boys because it is about sports, where many parents wonder how they can get their sons to read, and the trick is to find something that he likes and then help him find books in that category. For sport-loving boys, Chris Crutcher's books fill that category, and in some of his other books, he gives the young reader a voice in realistic fiction, and his books are relatable to children going through hard times. And these books are Iron Man, which is a story about a boy who is a triathlete and has a hard time getting along with his dad. Whale Talk, which is a group of misfits who have a hard time fitting in at high school. Staying Fat for Sarah Burns is a story of two friends, Sarah and Eric, who, which involves his fat and her terrible scars that make them both outcasts, and Stone, which I mentioned earlier. Being an American novelist and family therapist, Chris Crutcher has it all. He has many awards to hold to his name as well to this day. In 1993, he won the Allen Award from the Assembly on Literature for Adolescents for a significant contribution to adolescent literature. In 1998, he won the National Council of Teachers of English Intellectual Freedom Award for advancing the cause of intellectual freedom. In 2000, he won the ALA Edwards Award in 2004, he won the Writer Magazine Writer Who Makes a Difference Award. In 2005, he won the Catholic Library Association St. Catherine Drexel Award for outstanding contribution to the growth of high school librarianship. And also in 2005, he won the Intellectual Freedom Award from the National Coalition Against Censorship. On top of his awards, the ALA named eight of his books to the annual list of best books for young adults. And as anyone can see, Chris Crutcher has truly made an impact on the lives of young readers and will always be an icon of young adult authors.